Historical symbols have a lot to and who we have become as a people in this country. But our collective memory is shaped by who is doing the history telling. And I just felt like that, and the ball would go all the way over that green monster. Sylvester Stallone, and I'm in his shoes. At a time when America has become increasingly divided, it's important to consider the things that connect us. A new docuseries on PBS takes a closer look at some of America's iconic symbols and the stories behind them. Billionaire philanthropist David Rubenstein hosts the program, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good to have you with us. Let's let's talk about some of these. Um, let's talk about what's the first one on my list, the Hollywood sign. I just happened to read something about this the other day. I, I did not know the backstory of this sign. Yes, it was really designed to be uh, a sign to sell land in the Hollywood Hills. It was originally the Hollywood land sign. And then when the houses were sold, they took the land part off and it became a, uh, kind of synonymous with Hollywood itself. It turns out that re movies really aren't made in Hollywood. They're made in Burbank or other parts of Los Angeles. But Hollywood came to be the uh, symbol of, uh, of, of movie making. Hmm. You also do a deep dive into the myth of the American cowboy. What do we not know about the American cowboy? Well, when you watch uh, Hopalong Cassidy or other kinds of shows on TV about cowboys, you think that they're winning the West by killing Indians, essentially, and fighting all the time. The truth is, cowboys were really herding cattle. Um, we have a picture of them being all white. In fact, the first cowboys were all black. And uh, then it ultimately turned out they were black, uh, Latino, and white. Uh, and they did with the long uh, trails of uh, of, of, of herding the cattle, they weren't really uh, fighting Indians or anything like that. They were really just designed to get cattle to the market so people could have meat. That's what they did. And it was now uh, symbolized by rodeos. Rodeos are now places where cowboys often, uh, you know, show their wares. Yeah. Uh, Fenway Park, we have our own uh, very old baseball stadium yes. here at Wrigley, but they're very different. Yes. Um, we considered doing Wrigley Park, uh, Wrigley Field, but... Uh, Fenway was a little older. It was started in 1912 and still basically in use. Uh, Wrigley has historic uh, connotations as well, uh, but we did Fenway. And Fenway is a place where uh, it, very often when you're told to go watch the Red Sox, you're told to come to Fenway Park. In other words, come to the park as much as come watch the team. And what I learned is that the curse of the Bambino, which is said to be the curse that the Red Sox had for 86 years not winning a World Series, was probably not so much because they traded Babe Ruth, but because they didn't have any African-American players for all that time. They turned down Willie Mays saying he wasn't good enough. They turned down Jackie Robinson saying he wasn't good enough. Had they had Willie Mays and Ted Williams in the same lineup, they probably would have been to a World Series a lot sooner. And let's talk about how the bald eagle became the symbol of America. The bald eagle is not the official bird, but it's a symbol, as you point out. Uh, it was when their, our country was started, they wanted a symbol. The, the bald eagle is... Uh, is north is something that's really only in North America. Our bald eagle is not around the rest of the world, so it's something that's part of our country or North America. Uh, there were 500,000 of them at one point in our country, but then uh, because of DDT, they went down to 500. When we stopped wow. using DDT, they came back. And they are an incredibly majestic bird. They uh, feed off of fish, and they often uh, will, will feed in various places like Alaska, where I went to see them, and in Minnesota, where the National Bald Eagle Museum is now being uh, put together. Huh. So they're an incredible, uh, incredible animal. Well, Iconic America is streaming now on PBS with a new set of episodes out in July. You can also follow David on Twitter. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Thank you.